Department of Health and Human Services says research suggests increased physical activity of any kind can reduce the risk of developing depression and can improve mental health in general. ABC 7's Rachel Phillips introduces us to a man who says everything in life is possible if you put one foot in front of the other, something he's been doing both literally and figuratively for years. Exercising has long been associated with helping your mental health because of the endorphins it releases. For some, it can be the reason why they get out of bed in the morning. For others, it has been the reason why they've completely turned their life around. Come on, back, push it. Woo! This is the moment Gonzalo Espinosa won his first marathon, something he'll remember forever. But for years, he couldn't envision. Gonzalo was an alcoholic for eight years of his life. He told me he would lose jobs because of his addiction, but his true rock bottom came when he fell out of a moving car while drunk. I was lucky that I didn't die that day, you know, and I'm here right now. A few months later, he took this photo and decided he wanted to make a change. Well, I started thinking about my daughter and I told myself, would I want her to see me like that when she gets older or do I want to be a role model for her? So I changed my life. But it wasn't easy. About six months in, Gonzalo was struggling to stay sober. That's when he met his now wife, Debbie, who helped him find boxing, which led to running. It's all him, because he's the one that started it on his own, and I just came along and gave that little push. I just run for my family, for my coworkers, uh, my daughters, for, for people out there, just to know that if you work hard, anything is possible. Gonzalo now runs 60 to 90 miles a week, is a proud employee of YSD, and has been sober for nine years. I never thought I was going to be this person, the person where my mom, even my mom tells me she's proud of me. Gonzalo has run five marathons and plans on running many more, in large part because the difficulties of the 26-mile trek mirror the struggles of getting sober. It's a battle with the mind. Like, you think that you can't finish it, but you can. No matter if you're last or first, like, just finishing it, like, it, it feels really good. Despite that, Gonzalo dreams of one day winning the El Paso Marathon. Come on, babe. Woo! But his biggest victory will always be how running transformed him into the father, husband, and man he could only dream of being nine years ago. I was always depressed. I... I was never happy with myself and now I'm happy with myself. I'm confident with myself. I know what I gotta give the world. How much of that happiness do you put down to running? A hundred percent probably, 99 percent to running and running changed my life. And Gonzalo will continue to strive for his goals and that begins with the El Paso Marathon on Sunday, February 12th. For now reporting from Central El Paso, Rachel Phillips, ABC7. Good luck to him. And after the El Paso Marathon, Gonzalo wants to run the Chicago Marathon. Now he's already qualified for the event, but he needs help getting there. If you head to our website, kvi.com, you can find a link to his GoFundMe. And certainly no surprise that he did qualify. We saw the time in that video. Amazing. He's running.